Sorry about the video being late today because usually it's around, you know, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I was streaming for about like a cumulative like 10 hours last night and I absolutely needed the rest. And I was like, it's probably better for me to go ahead and go to bed and then release the video late then try to force the video now at like seven in the morning when I have absolutely no sleep and I'm not gonna be coherent at all. And I'm glad I decided to actually wait to talk about this servant because this new Ricky servant is absolutely busted. She's basically going to be the new quick farming servant. I mean, she's got the trifecta of farming. She's got good natural NP gain. She's a berserker. I mean, if you wanna farm with quick, this is kind of like your quick version of Ibuki. She's absolutely nutty insane. I mean, she's even got like good special damage mods and whatnot. So if you've been holding out your Saint Quartz, or I mean, if you even have any Saint Quartz left over on the JP version of the game, I can already tell you that this servant's borderline going to be a must summon. If you have the ability to participate in the quick meta, whether that be through Ruler Scotty or Normal Scotty. But instead of me just gassing this servant up, let's actually talk about her and go over why she's so broken. But before we begin, this video is once again sponsored by Bai. Bai is basically Japanese eBay and is a way for us over in the West to gain access to some exclusive Japanese products or just a lot of products that seem to take like eight months to just even years to ever release in the West or if they ever release at all, it kind of gives us a way to actually gain access to a lot of these uh, figures or just merch that you might want to get. And like, for instance, you know, there's a lot of like fate figures that are going to take quite a while to get over here because, you know, the Japanese version is two years ahead of us. This is kind of like your way to kind of cheat some of those figures out. And if you sign up using my link down in the description down below, they actually will give you 2000 yen into your account just for signing up using my link. And then if you look at something like this absolute banger of a Salter figure over here, that's basically half off for this figure. So make sure you go ahead and sign up using my link down in the description down below to claim your 2k free yen and i hope you guys find some figures and merch that'll just look nice on your shelves but thank you by you once again for sponsoring this video now let's talk about this broken servant so first and foremost we got to start by talking about the hits and Riku actually has a really interesting loadout for her hits because usually Berserkers are maybe packing like a triple buster deck or maybe they're going like double buster, double arts. Riku is literally fully leaning into that quick meme and she is going triple quick deck, which is actually pretty fine considering that she's got a passive 10% buff to both her quick cards and her NP gain rate. And her natural NP gain per attack is actually pretty high at 0.7% with five hits per quick card, meaning she is going to be refunding her NP like an absolute madman. The only weak part about her quick cards is that her natural star gen as a Zerk is pretty low at 4.9%, but the fact that they actually buffed how quick cards work and the fact that quick chaining with her should actually be easier now does kind of mean that she'll still be kind of flooded in stars just because of the buff that quick cards got due to the seventh year anniversary. That high NP gain also benefits her three hit arts card. If you ever crit on that, that's going to refund a massive amount of your NP if you know the quick cards aren't already doing it for you. And she's got the five hit extra attack, which you guys know I like to see. If you don't know the extra attacks, a composite card that gen stars NP and does big boy damage. The fact that she's got really high natural NP gain does mean in a brave chain that the extra attack is going to benefit a little bit here and helping her with some NP gain. But I really don't think that's going to be a problem because as we'll start getting into the skills and everything, I mean, she's kind of a nutty servant. And so what better way to start talking about that than just diving right into skill one Skill one basically being her charisma and what a broken charisma this is. It's gonna be giving the entire party 20% quick for three turns, 20% NP gain for three turns, and 15 stars on a six turn cooldown. The reason this is kind of broken is that not only is this buffing up her damage, not only is it making it easier for her to loop, but when you consider that Ruler Scotty, who is a quick support, can also benefit off of this herself, it's kind of like the DPS and the support are literally just buffing each other, which makes this even better. If you're using her with normal Scotty, she doesn't really benefit from this as much. The NP gain rate does help because Scotty's, at least the original Scotty's, NP got buffed recently, so it's not nearly as bad. It's actually quite worth to go into, but you really see a lot of the benefit from this with Ruler Scotty. In fact, any team comp where you're going to be using Riku 
with any other quick servants, they're going to benefit a lot from this because this double buffing of the quick performance and the NP gain is absolutely insane. And this is literally just her first skill. Her second skill completes the trifecta of farming for her by giving her a 30% battery, two stages of overcharge, and then one hit of invincibility on a six turn cooldown. However, the nice thing about this is that it is targetable. Now, you're probably always going to use this on her. You're probably never going to give this to somebody else. You're gonna be using it to make sure that she's like topped off and can always fire her NP and that you could take advantage of her really strong overcharge, which spoiler alert is a special damage mod and also use it as some metric of survivability for her if you're ever bringing her to more difficult content, which again, because of that damage mod I just mentioned, you can actually do. The fact that this is also a 30% battery does mean that it combines really well with the 20% of pen skill that you can give if you need her to have basically a fake 50% battery to pair her with any of the 50% starting charge CEs. And just overall, between skill one and skill two, she's pretty much got everything she could ever want. The only thing that she's kind of missing is maybe some crit buffs or maybe some attack buffs, some extra ways of getting in some extra damage. And that's where the third skill comes in, where she gives herself a 50% crit damage buff for three turns and then further increases the crit damage of her quick cards by another 50% for three turns. So quick crits just inherently are 100% and normal crits 50%, which is really, really strong. And then she just has an on attack buff that every time she attacks the enemy with her quick cards, they get their defense lowered by 10% for three turns. And the interesting thing is that they actually had this proc first, so you actually get the damage before the quick card even hits the enemy. And overall, this servant is just looking absolutely nutty. I mean, she's literally got everything. The only thing she's not inherently doing with her skills is double buffing herself from a damage perspective because if you don't know different buff types in fgo actually multiply into each other and give you more damage and if you just start stacking buffs she's only got the quick card buff and i'm assuming after ibuki they maybe wanted to tone it down a little bit because riku literally is just the quick version of ibuki you know they're both berserkers they're both really good at looping it's just riku kind of leans more into the crit damage niche the actual np gain aspect of things and less into the damage although i say that and even without any of her damage mods or like lowering the enemy's defense and everything, her damage is still fine at NP1, probably want to go for an NP2. But then again, that just kind of depends on who you're fighting because looking at her NP, if you see her overcharge down there, she has a special damage mod against man attribute enemies, which is quite a lot of enemies. Like this is a pretty good swath of people. I mean, for one, there's a lot of servants in this category. And considering that she's a berserker, realistically, the only people you can't bring her to fight are going to be Yang and Hokusai. Everyone else is fair game for her to just Tim Tam slam into the ground. And then there's also a lot of like the random soldiers, the druids, the enforcer knights, the nobus, all of those guys are all also in the man attribute as well. So not only is it really good for servants, but it's really good for random enemies as well and will really help her out when it comes to farming if you bring her to any of those nodes and you'll barely notice that her damage is kind of more mid without any of the buffs because you'll probably be getting the man attribute special damage mod quite frequently but that's not all that her np actually does her np also seals the enemy's np for one turn and smacks him with curse for five turns the curse can be interesting if you want to pair her with like van gogh or somebody or you know doman's also kind of got like a curse meme going they're all quick servants basically so you know that kind of gives her a little bit of synergy there the ceiling of the np is just another layer of survivability for her you know if she doesn't have the invincibility because maybe you had to use it earlier for the 30 percent battery or you needed the overcharge at a specific time she at least has the ability to seal the enemy's np pretty much whenever she fires her own and overall this girl is a uh, pretty dang nutty I would highly recommend if you've got like ruler scotty especially that you chuck a couple of multis at this servant or if you're on the na version of the game be on the lookout for her because this servant is really nutty she's extremely good do you guys remember how a couple of weeks ago we were talking about the guy for quick servants you know who is like the quick servant looping guy kind of like how ibuki's the guy for art slooping right well i think riku is officially going to become the guy for quick looping like over Lancelot, over Dante's, over Voyager, over all those dudes, I think she's going to take that position. And so if you like using Scotty and you plan to be using Ruler Scotty for like a lot of uh, quick farming and whatnot, this might be a really good servant to keep a lookout for if you're an NA player or if you're a JP player, chuck a couple of multis at it. 
However, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have yourselves a nice day. Peace late, guys.